This fly, this pattern right here, is uh, what I call a larva lace worm. It's got kind of a unique hook on it. Um, it's got, I like it because of the bend and the color. Um, and it's a Gamagatsu one aught straight eye. It's called a drop shot hook. And what you need for this fly is uh, one, the hook. And then you need to have some red monocord or heavy duty, like a 210 thread, like Flymaster Plus. And what you're going to do is you're going to start your thread at the back bend of this hook. And that's all you're going to do. You're going to make four or five good wraps right there, throw a half hitch in, trim off the thread tag. And then you're going to take a strip of larva lace, which is very stretchy and it's hollow. It's the, what they call their body material. And I like to angle cut this just a little bit because it allows me to tie it in and it doesn't build up. And I lay that angle right down on the back of the hook and come up and just wrap that down good and tight. I really don't believe in, in complicated patterns. I like being simplistic and being able to tie them fast and using the littlest amount of material that you can. I take and tie this on there a little bit. It's a little bit strange to do this. I like to tie a whip finish on that. And I usually apply head cement, but I don't have any right now. And I just break the thread. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the eye and tie that thread back in. Throw another half hitch in there. I like to use this red hook because I like to use the sheen, the natural sheen that it comes off of the hook there. And you take and you pull this larva lace, you can just stretch it. And you just start wrapping your larva lace forward. And as you can see on the body, it starts to be shiny because of that hook underneath. The other thing that's nice about this pattern is, is that it is soft. Soft and it gives a lot. And I just reposition the hook so it's easier to use. But you can, it's like this, and those fish will grab this thing and they start to chew on it. They literally clamp down, they won't let go of it. Which gives us just a little bit of extra time to set the hook. What I really like about this hook is I usually catch them in the upper part of their mouth. And you want to tie that off with three to four good wraps. Go ahead and snip your larva lace and finish the head. Tie your whip finish. Go ahead and trim that thread off. Now, what I like to do is I like to put in what I call a hot spot. You can fish this worm just as is. And I usually use a loop knot on it so it moves around the loop on the end of the, the line. It just moves around. What I'm going to use here is a fluorescent orange big fly thread. And I'm just going to try my little hot spot in there. And I tie that tag down a little bit and I just kind of build that up. The reason I use the big fly is because it, it adds thread really, really fast. It's really important to coat this really nicely with head cement. And there's your hot spot and you come up and you whip finish back over the top of it. Pull that tight. Now it's all is ready to go fishing. Fly's done.